is it guys i'm in india finally um i've actually been in india a couple of days but it's been kind of a little overwhelming and a little so I haven't been vlogging that much but this vlog is going to be about the Taj Mahal first let me catch you up on what's been going on the last couple of days arrived in Mumbai after two flights and over 24 hours of travel was immediately overwhelmed by the sights sounds and one awful taxi driver checked into Horn Oki Police Hostel highly recommend it walked the Bandra Sea View and visited Bandra Fort which apparently is a lover's spot so I felt awkwardly alone Hung out with a local who introduced me to some common street food favorites. Switched hostels and witnessed a parade? Rally? Thing? Met people from all over the world and we spent the day exploring Calaba. One stressful travel day feeling nervous about all the pollution warnings in Delhi later. And I'm finally in Agra. Okay, so now that you're caught up, uh... I am really excited for tomorrow, but I'm remaining realistic about it because the pollution is really bad right now. There's a lot of smog, and so I'm not really sure that it's even gonna be able to like photograph it from a distance. So we'll see how it turns out tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun, but um, it may not. <laughs> Good morning everyone! Meeting my driver at 7 o'clock. I'm not quite going for the sunrise, I'm going a little bit after that, but I think it'll still be really beautiful, so let's get going! I had very little prior knowledge of the Taj Mahal other than what I'd seen in movies like Slumdog Millionaire and one other vlog. Only recently had I learned about other buildings surrounding it. I was impressed not only by the Taj Mahal as the main building, but the amount of detail in the entire 42 acre complex. Security is tight at the Taj, so if you're visiting during high season, research which gates are open so you won't get stuck in a long line. Because of the smog, tourism was down during the week I visited, so getting in to only took about 5 minutes. The Taj Mahal was built by Emperor Shah Jahan as a mausoleum for his favorite wife. As an artist, my favorite part of the Taj was the handcrafted jeweled embellishments and poems that decorated the walls. The repetition of ornate shapes and pattern were stunning, both on the large and small scale. Here's a few tips. You should note that there are no tripods allowed in the Taj complex. They even took my monopod, which I thought was kind of weird, and is also why I have a lot of shaky footage. Video isn't supposed to be allowed past the main deck, but that wasn't told to me until after I had already been filming for a while. The guards will chase you down if you have a bigger camera set up though. There is absolutely no photography inside the mausoleum, and you must wear booties over your shoes, but they provide those for you. If you plan your trip in advance, my guide recommended the full moon night ticket, which gives you a unique look at how the stones and marble reflect the moonlight. I didn't have time, nor did I think it would work with the smog. Lastly, enjoy the cheese. At first I was reluctant to take cliched photos, but my guide pushed me, and honestly, some of these snaps are my favorite. Overall, while touristy, the Taj remains a beautiful symbol of what India can accomplish. The rich architecture and unique use of stone is, for me, why the Taj Mahal is still a must-see. Artists in Agra continue to use the hand-carved techniques today. We're gonna check that out in a minute, but first, monkeys! time to learn more about the process of stone cutting. We visited a shop to learn how the stone inlay of the Taj Mahal was built. There are a variety of stones used for the tables, coasters, and statues of today, but here's two traditional stones that were used in the Taj. This is the black onyx, and this is stone which I have done for calligraphic work in Dutch. Have you seen the Quran mm -hmm. writing work? The black onyx from Belgium. This is the cornelian from India. Mm -hmm. Cornelian stone, it is one of the specialist stone Taj Mahal. When you put the flash light, which will illuminate like a fire. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the Taj Mahal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a specialist stone Taj Mahal. Those still stone carving today typically are descendants of those who worked on the Taj Mahal. Each piece is hand cut, then arranged together and glued into the holes carved into the marble. Then the entire surface is polished. Wow. 
I bought a peacock octagon for my mother and one large lion for myself. The shopkeeper gifted me a small lion as a gift for my purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Taj Mahal. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. I try to make new videos every single week, but no promises. Next week, we're going to look at Agra's Red Fort. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, remember to live, love, and travel on. Bye!